Aquarius, thanks for joining me. So before we begin, I just want to set the intention that this be a safe space, that this be a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. So in the pre-shuffle, so these two cards flew out of the deck. So I've got the four of pentacles. And you got the devil energy showing up. So, and then on the bottom of the deck is um, the knight of pentacles. So what I'm seeing is you've had a new offer that just came through recently. It's helping you move to a place of stability in your life in your 3D space. This is a goal that you've been working hard towards. It's almost like a door just opened up for you. And then we just had the Capricorn full moon come through. So this would be aligned with it. I'm also picking up uh, see another storyline. So... Some of you are working towards a goal. I also see that this is a, a parent energy or let's say an ex-lover, a jealous lover, somebody that's toxic in your life, okay? So this energy is a, this is a warning to watch out for the pitfalls that's coming up. So this energy is an energy that you've had a past karmic tie with. It's a test that you had to work through. I see that you've moved through it. But then this is something that's going to be, uh, it's always going to be there. It's a pitfall for you to be mindful of and watch out for. Let's see what else we got. So that the King of Cups and the Strength card, I'm seeing that through the situation with you becoming up to a point of stability in your life, so this could be a new job, this could be the home, this is going to bring you stability in your emotions, all right? So this is going to be leveling up, okay? This is going to be something that you've used a lot of, that's taken a lot of strength, that's something that's taken a lot of courage for a place for you to get to. So this is the Leo energy, the sun energy. And while you're sitting there waiting on the sun and waiting for your manifestations to come through, I see that, you know, you're looking back. You're not looking forward. You're looking back at the things that uh, you've been through, the tests that you've made it through, the obstacles that you've had to overcome. I see you doing some reflection in your life. For some of you, this is about healing your home life with your relationships with your family. For others, this is a old energy, something that you've tried to reconnect with is a, a, an energy that you've been hurt by. Someone that's wounded you deeply in the past. This energy. So the stability and the strength card coming up, this was justice, right? This is the scales balancing out. You passed your karmic test. You've moved through the situation. Now you're waiting on your other manifestations to come through for the next chapter. This is a new cycle that you've started. That you've overcome. Something that you struggled to get out of. You had to fight tooth and nail. I'm hearing the odds were stacked against you. It's like some of you had to totally reinvent yourself or your way of life.
Some of you are going through um, petty arguments in your household. Some with your uh, relationships with your family members, with your wife, with your kids. You need to remember that not to take things so seriously, right? Remember to just live in the moment. Not focus on the past, not focus on the future. Because in the future, there's always another incoming offer, right? So I see you upgrading. It's like a constant leveling up. It's a rebirthing energy. The sun card, the highest card in Tarot. This is you coming out of the old cycle into the new cycle. Being rebirthed anew. So some of you, this is working with your gifts or abilities. The first others, this is a, a project that you started on. Something you're making with your hands. A new way to make money. I'm also seeing the the five of wands fall underneath the devil energy. So this is gonna be somebody that you're you know you're still if you're still in contact with them, they're still trying to bring these petty ass bullshit squabbles into your life that are doing nothing but distracting you. It's a pitfall to be mindful for and watch out for. Yeah, that's gonna bring you heartache. It's going to be, bring feelings of sadness, loneliness. So by you moving through this energy and out of the old cycle and into the new cycle, i seeing that you're upgrading on the spiritual playing field as well. You feel better about yourself. You're beginning to explore new options into the reality, looking at different perceptions of reality, different viewpoints. So I'm seeing the, the Knight of Cups follow the Knight of Pentacles. You're making a forward progression, right? Remember, time's not linear, so this would be you just upgrading. One battlefield to the next is what I'm hearing. So along with the procession of the equinox, I'm seeing that uh, each phase of your life keeps getting better and better and better. So you're moving into a place of overwhelming abundance, overwhelming joy, a new kind of joy. And then not just a new kind of joy, but a new, uh, a new way of viewing joy and happiness, right? So... Most people think that they need to get to a certain place in life to feel happy or to be happy. Or if I just get this one thing, my life will be great. Or if I can just fix this one thing, everything's going to be perfect. But in reality, we need to understand that the journey in life is abundance, is joy, is happiness. Even the pains and sorrows that we go through. The hurt. How would you know pleasure without pain, right? And again, just constant movement. I'm seeing the chariot come out. So this could be movement in your 3D space. This could be you moving off and finding a new place um, physically. But not just that. This could be you moving away from that person, from this energy. right? So you're moving away from this energy. You're not going to let this. I see you moving through this. See how you transmuted the energy? Seven also, it's the number of perfection. So you're working on perfecting yourself, perfecting your craft, perfecting your job.
So I'm looking at counterpart energy coming out, right? So before that, another one of those pitfalls that we're talking about, right? So right after the chariot comes out, you're going into this energy, right? So this is um, someone standing there looking at what they don't have instead of seeing what they do have, right? So this is going to be another pitfall for you to avoid. You need to be grateful. You need to be honoring of your gifts, anything you've been given in life, right? You need to look at what you have, not what you don't have. 11.06 on the time. And then next is the counterpart energy. This is king and queen energy, right? So this is a new relationship that you've started, or this is just your marriage, or this is you and your best friend. This badass energy. You guys together are unstoppable, unmovable. Your foundation is that of a rock, rock solid. You guys are moving through a tower moment together. But this isn't a bad tower. Most towers are uh, life-changing and earthquake-shaking. This is a good tower. This is something in your life changing that um, you've wanted to change for a while. And because you've embodied this energy, the door's opened up. We got the fool on the bottom of the deck. Encouraging you to take the leap off the cliff into the unknown. You might not even be able to see what you've got coming. You might not even be to envision what this is, what's going to be there. If you change 12, 12 on the time, if you envision what this is, jump, the universe will catch you. Some people feel like it's not the right time for me to make a move or I'll do, I'll, I'll go on this vacation when I get the money, but you've got the money. Don't make excuses for, for uh, finding your own happiness. Live in the moment. Don't be planning for a day that never comes is what I'm hearing. Beautiful energy. Some of you are moving away from a broken relationship, something that no longer serves you. You're walking away, something in the 3D space. You're building your manifestations. You're working on other goals and projects that you want to complete. You need to, you're starting something new. If there's something you've been wanting to do, but you haven't had the time or the money to do it, now's the time to do that. You're moving to a place of abundance. The number nine speaks on the completion of a cycle, right? You're moving into an energy that best suits you and the space that you're at. This is you manifesting. You have so many different options that are laid out before you. You just need to tap in, think about what you want and tap into that energy. It's all there for you. Okay, being guided to pick up the spread, I'm going to put these back in the shuffle again. This is beautiful energy, Aquarius. Beautiful work you're doing. Boss level is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing another manifesting energy pop out. So there's something that you're wanting to come into your reality. There's something that you're working on. You know what this is, right? So you know whether this is financial stability, if it's a new car, if it's a love you're trying to bring into your life, whatever that may be. <laughs> Let's get it popping. Is what I'm hearing.
So when you're manifesting like this, you're channeling the inner child, inner child inside, right? So you're tapping into this energy to make this happen, right? And this comes from healing the trauma, healing your wounds and coming from a place of vulnerability, right? You can't stay guarded. You have to open up your, open up your heart, bust that heart wide open and, and be vulnerable. This is you being vulnerable with your partner, with anybody in your life, right? So this is what manifests and brings healing into our life when we can come from a state of vulnerability. Let's do it like this. It's time for you to soar. I see you moving through a transformation in your life. I see you using the inner strength inside you to do this with. You're gonna have to have hope. You're gonna have to have love in your heart to make this happen. You need to let go of loss, let go of worry, let go of fear, let go of doubt. You need to take some time to rest and take stock in what, what you want in life because it's all there for the taking. You are protected. You are divinely protected. Your guides are with you. The universe has got your back. And whether you know it or not, your shadow self loves you. It's got your back too. This is, um, this is an energy that it has to be faced, right? So this is what we make friends with, right? This is, uh, this is the, the darker side of ourselves that we tap into and harness. You need to listen to the guidance. You need to listen to those around you that are giving you good advice, that are giving you love. You're moving to a space of limitless potential. The universe is opening up its arms wide to you. You need to create space. Create space for new things to come in. So this means getting those old energetic ties out of your life. If you got somebody you've been thinking about nonstop that hurts you, let that shit go. Right? You need to make create space and make space for new ideas, for new feelings, for new thoughts. Or else you're going to stay stuck on that same old cycle, looping over and over and over again. I feel that your home life is very important to you right now something you're protecting take some time in reflection think about everything that you have in your life not everything you don't have or everything you want but what you have You are the hero, the heroine of your own story. You know this. Deep inside, you know this. Our elements shows up. And that reminds you to dance. Reminds you to... Not get so caught up in the bullshit and all the drama of all the fucking people that that's lives aren't going the way they want it to. And they're just spew out their bullshit, to, you know, in your energetic field. Right. So be mindful of other energies that have a powerful influence over you. Just being in the same space as them. If you're around negative energy, you need to move out of that space. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This will conclude our reading. You guys have a great day, and may you always be on the inner quest.